one of the worst things that you can do is just go into court and decide you're going to plead guilty. Yes, that gets rid of the short-term anxiety of court, but then the doubts set in afterwards when you can relax and you've now been disqualified and you wonder to yourself, well, maybe there was something there. I, I should have checked that. And you've got to live with that for the next two years, or in some cases, three years. Uh, so it makes sense, at the very least, to test the evidence with a solicitor to make sure that it's uh, above board. And if there is no grounds to contest the case, well, then fine. If you wish, then you can enter a plea of guilty, but, and it won't have uh, detained the case for too long. But pleading guilty to something which carries such a huge uh, penalty straight away without at least getting some legal advice on it is not very sensible. A lot of people don't realise um, when it comes to um, drugs in your system, um, they don't realise that cannabis can stay in your system for about 28 days, uh, cocaine can stay for three or four days, amphetamines for about the same period of time. And the difficulty with that is that even though you may have done nothing wrong when you were stopped at one of these mandatory and toxicizer checkpoints, uh, if you're required to give a specimen of uh, saliva and it shows up the presence of cocaine that you had three days ago, you'll be arrested. And if uh, you're convicted in court, you're put off the road for something that happened three days before you drove. So the, some of these drugs are long lasting, they're staying in your system for quite some period of time. And even though they're no longer acting on your central nervous system and they're not uh, causing you to be impaired, you can be punished for them uh, three or four days after you've even consumed them. And in some cases, a week or two weeks afterwards. It's pretty harsh. Most people don't even know that, uh, but that's unfortunately the way it is. If you've been caught in possession of drugs, what happens next? Well, what happens next is you will be summoned to court. Uh, depending, no matter what the guard says to you, and sometimes people tell me the guard said there, there won't be a summons. There will be a summons, guaranteed, 100%. There'll be a summons to court. Uh, depends on the quality of the substance, whether it's cannabis, heroin, cocaine, uh, you know, benzos, whatever it is. If it's, uh, sub if, if it's cannabis, it's, you know, under a certain value, it's going to be district court. If it's the other substances and it's of a higher value, you could be going before the circuit court, before a judge and jury, if they think you're, you had it in possession for sale or supply. What's it like inside the Garda station? It's different to what you know or expect. Your only expectation of what goes on inside there is from TV. And that's really wrong because once you get in there, there are a couple of different things that are going to hit you straight away. Smells that you're not familiar with, noises you're not familiar with. You've been asked to walk down this long corridor with maybe flickering lights down to where an interview room is and there's people inside in cells that are screaming and roaring and threatening guards. And if you're not used to that environment, and most people aren't, that's really destabilizing. So you're already destabilized as soon as you get into, in, into the interview room. You had this idea in your head about what it's going to be like and what you're going to say, but now you're, you're frazzled by the sounds, the, the, the smells, the sights in this place, and now you're facing two guys who are going to ask very tough questions of you. And in that environment, it's hard to think straight, but you need to think straight, because if you don't, and they get you to sign something, you're in trouble. There's no coming back from that. Well, if you've been, I mean, if you've been caught in possession of drugs today, regardless of when the summons arrives, and it will arrive, that's 100% guarantee, you can't guarantee much in life, but I can guarantee you a summons for court for drugs, they will summons you. You should start your analysis. I recommend that to every one of my clients. Your analysis is really important. It's scientific. You go to your GP, your GP nominates someone who can do your analysis. It does a bit of a cost involved, but if you want the court ultimately to leave you with your record, they are more inclined to do that if they know it's cost you a bit of money. If it's cost you time and money to do it, it means that your protestations of, I'm through with drugs, carry more weight. And so the judge then can be more inclined to say, all right, I'll take a chance on this person, I won't convict him.